Hi everyone, Joe Conroy, Certified Financial Planner here. And recently I was quoted in US News and World Report on seven hobbies in retirement that can help make you money as part-time income. And it really got me thinking that I wanted to kind of expand a little bit upon that article and some of the things that I talked about and, and how that can help benefit you and your retirement and your retirement planning and expectations. So a lot of times when you say part-time income in retirement, first thing people think of is Uber driver, Walmart greeter. And I think that this article really helps kind of blow down that stigma, the, the doors that, uh, or I should say the walls that people put up and who wants to be an Uber driver two in the morning uh, or stand on your feet as a Walmart greeter all the time. But that isn't necessarily what part-time income is for most people in retirement. I'll give you a couple examples. So I work with a couple who the wife recently told us that she is really into pottery. So she will go around to different trade shows and craft shows and she makes pottery for fun and just starts selling it um, on the side. So is it a huge money maker? Not really, it gives her a little walking around money, but what's important is this is a hobby that's now revenue neutral. So by going and doing these craft shows, she's meeting new people She's making things that she enjoys to make, and really it's covering the cost of the materials because she'd be spending the money making the things out of you know, her, her pottery projects anyway, so this she recoups some of her cost. And let's think about this for a moment. In retirement, the trick is not necessarily to try and make more money, but it's to prevent yourself from spending more money. And if you're a regular Monday through Friday person, do you spend more money during the weekdays or do you spend more money on the weekends? It's the weekends. On Saturdays and Sundays, you've got time to go out to lunch, to do the things that you want to do. So if you can just stay busy with your hobby, keep it revenue neutral or even bonus if it's a little bit of a plus to put some money in your pocket, all that time spent on that hobby is going to be time that you don't spend shopping for other things and spending money on food or whatever the thing might be. So, so I just want to shift into that retirement mindset where now we're not so... No we're not so worried about saving more money. We're looking at just trying to preserve the money that we've accumulated and pick up hobbies that keep us busy, keep us from spending money and maybe put a little bit of, of walking around pocket change. So uh, please check out the article. I hope that you have a couple of good ideas that you can get from it. And if you have any questions, as always, please contact me. I'd be happy to go through anything that you might wanna explore.